And so this video begins in Manhattan, but we're leaving, headed to Queens. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, if it's your first time. Tampa J, Adam the Woo, Manhattan. Had a really good time here. We've covered a lot of ground the last couple of days. Between 25,000 and 32,000 steps yesterday. That's a fun one. If you trust my app versus your app. So at least 25. So my app and my phone that counts the steps said I walked almost 34,000 steps and yesterday. I walked 26. We were like neck and neck the whole yeah. day. So I don't know if it's because like maybe I have bigger strides. I walk like a giraffe. <laughs> that that could be it. Yeah, giraffe strides will do it. Yeah. Also, I was like flinging my my uh can't my phone around because I was doing a video and I was like matching up screenshots and whatnot. That could be. We walked a lot. Can't deny that though. I don't know if we're gonna get that many steps today because we're taking the train out to Queens to City Field to watch our Tampa Bay Rays take on the Mets, knocking off a baseball bucket list again. This will be my sixth MLB stadium. Also, we're gonna head over to Corona Park for the 1965-66 World's Fair. 64-65. Technically 64, but it kind of stretched over into 65. All right. So we're gonna go check out those very Disney iconic spots. Also gonna share some other things and I'm collecting footage for another video that will be coming out soon over there. It just, double duty today. It just correlates. We covered a lot of ground, filming a lot of stuff this weekend. Appreciate everyone watching. I got a cold coffee. Got a hot coffee. He's got a hot coffee. Perfect timing. A good treat for the train. Let's head to Grand Central. There's a bunch ahead. Staring at us like I know, they're like, like, we're, like we're aliens from us. Well, we are wearing, uh, we're, we're wearing different different letters. We're not wearing an NY. We're wearing, they're like, we're wearing a TV. So that's what Tampa Bay fans from Florida are like. They're like, oh, they're they from Florida. Exist. They exist. That's right. They meet a lot of people from Florida in New York now. That's right, and everyone has a tie to Tampa. Oh, my sister's cousin lives in Tampa, or my brother lives in Tampa. Oh, I have a house in Tampa. My nephew's Make dog's previous owner once resided and knew someone that had heard about someone who once lived in the Panhandle, which is close, eight hours in proximity to Tampa. <laughs> I think I think we know. Intro, I think we know why a lot of Tampanians are Yankees fans now. We found out first hand here in New York City. All right, long intro, there's much ahead. I can see my full financial picture right here in this window. What's it say? It says, no, it says see your full financial picture. Oh, it literally says that. It says it right there. It well, talk your full financial, full financial picture. <laughs> there's much ahead. Do you ahead. see it? I see it right there. There it is, cool, I didn't know if it showed up. All right, that's a two minute and 45 second intro. There's much ahead, don't edit any of that out. Okay, I'll try not to. You will. Got a question, not sure how to get to the purple train to get to Queens, because we're going out to City Field, so just trying to figure out where the location is to get on that train. Somewhere below us, I know that, but I can't remember because I've never taken a train out to Queens before. And yeah, we found the entrance. We're actually on train number seven. Look at this mosaic above the escalator as we're going awesome. down. Tampa Jay has not washed this jersey yet. Nope, not doing it. Not washed it. It's a thing now. Here we come, Queens. You gotta take purple seven. Whoa. And about 12 stops later, we're in Queens, and you can see the top of the stadium, City Field, over here. And there it is, City Field. We've got about seven hours, yes. We're early, first pitch seven hours away. We wanted to come out to Corona Park, the former site of the World's Fair, to sightsee a bit, way before the game starts. Be my second time out here, too. And here we are at the Unisphere. I've been out here before, but honestly, I forgot how big it was. It is massive. There's someone in a cherry picker right there, maintenancing it. Looks like they're in uh, South Africa right now. Yeah, someone is doing a little bit of work on it there. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna say this without spoiling yet, but I'm also out here filming two videos. I need some footage of this specific place right here. And a pretty awesome tour, being a big fan of Disney. Glad I'm tagging along for this. We have uncovered so many awesome spots. Such great Disney history here. Check out Adam's video to get the full tour. So glad I'm here. All right, it's it's almost baseball time. We're heading to City Field, Unisphere. It's amazing. Also, look at this little uh, ping pong table that sits out here. I guess you got to bring your own paddle and your own ping pong ball. That's right. I think of Forrest Gump. And we're exiting the World's Fair. This was the main entrance. These awnings were here. 
back when that was going down city field in the distance let's play ball and here we are the sixth baseball stadium on my baseball bucket list city field now i'm going to try to pinpoint the location of the former shea stadium legendary ballpark before they built city hopefully we'll Hopefully I'll be able to find that, but I'm just so excited to be here, guys. Thank you for watching again. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Adam again for making this trip possible, for inviting me out. Here we go, raise up. Let's beat the Mets. And this is the Shea Stadium home run Big Apple. Used to sit in Shea Stadium right up front here. Okay, 1964 to 2008, the amazing Mets would have played here, the 69 Mets. This is the pitcher's mound. Look, they have all the bases marked in the parking lot before City Field, the former stadium, Shea Stadium. The home plate is right down there where Adam is. He's checking out home plate. Site of Shea Stadium home plate, 64 to 2008. Right now I'm thinking of Mike Piazza squatting right here behind this plate. One of my favorite ball players. I played catcher in high school. I wasn't really a great one. I kind of became a catcher because I was what they call it. I was a utility player. I could play every position. I even pitched a little bit. I was a jack of all trades, master of none though. It's very cool. You got all the plates. You got first base out there. You've got third, you got the pitcher's mound and you got third over there. I gotta take a picture with this. And well beyond what, an hour until the gates open. Again, game starts at seven. We're gonna walk around and see what we can see on the outside and then the inside, as we always do. It's crazy though. Look, you look, you see like you know when a pitcher throws over to first, they're on the rubber here. They're on the mound. They're on the bump. Right look here. How far that is? Yeah, it's pretty far. It should be what? It should be about 90 or 60 feet. I can't remember. 60 feet. Well, uh, 60 feet, six inches this way. Yeah. 90 feet home to there. To be honest with you, I don't know the exact dimensions. It's probably is 60. I think it, I think it is. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's about the same. Yep. That's a 60 even 60. That's a pretty good way. Precision, man. Think about throwing a ball and getting it right over that there. That's Think about hitting a round ball with a round bat. And getting close to the stadium. Looks like all the gates are named after former players and coaches of the Mets. There's the Stangle Gate. Oh, look at this. I was just talking about Gil Hodges. Not only coached for the Mets, but played. Look at that. And there's Daryl Strawberry. I definitely love some Daryl Strawberry back in the 80s. Yeah, I love the Mets' uh, mascot, the baseball dude. Of Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati's got a baseball guy, yeah. too. And Tug McGraw, number 45, which is Tim McGraw's dad, the country singer. His dad played for the Mets, look at that. Seaver strikes out 19, April 22nd, 1970, the year after they won the World Series on Earth Day, Tom Seaver set a Major League Baseball record by striking out 10 straight batters and tied the MLB record with 19 strikeouts during a nine inning game. That's the year after. That's a lot of strikeouts, 19 in one day. That's amazing. That's nuts. On Earth Day too. Oddly enough. And speaking of Tom Seaver, look, the statue right before the Big Apple, number 41, giant statue. George Thomas Seaver, Tom Seaver. Look at this, that's an amazing sculpture right there. It's huge, right before City Field. That's a postcard right there. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. All right, check this out. Folks are showing up. We've got about 45 minutes until the gates open. First pitch, seven o'clock. Wind picking up just in time for the opening of City Field. And here we are, scanning in. And we are in. Check out the Grand Hall here at City Field. You got a staircase to the left that curves around, you got a staircase to the right, and then a giant escalator, two tandem escalators right here. Coming up the escalator, Bally Sports got us on TV. 
Yeah. I wonder if anyone will see it. I hope so. I was like, number one in baseball. All right. At the top of the escalators, look at this. Giant board with a lineup. All the stats. And just a look back of where we came up. Right there. Integrity. A life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. Jackie Robinson. Can't really see it in the shadows, just a little bit. Right there is a Jackie Robinson quote. Welcome to City Field. There's a car over here. Look at that. A Mets car. Yeah, man. Are you that guy Chiefs raised bolts? Yeah, this stadium's cool so far. A lot of cool things to do. It looks like the team store is over here. Amazing memorabilia. And I can only think named after the Amazing Mets, 1969. Just like we have a memorabilia store back at the Trump. They do here too. There's Pete's, Pete Alonzo's gloves, autographed helmet also. Oh, and Pete Alonzo's shoes. And we went into the right. First sight of City Field and Rays are taking batting practice. All right, this is awesome. Wow, we're about to get a whole lot closer. I like that they had giant vintage baseball cards for the Mets up here. Look, Daryl Strawberry right there on the end. Now on the third base side, look at the giant Jumbotron with the logos Tampa Bay out there. Yeah, the boys are in Queens warming up. This is so cool. And here we are. Section 121 currently walking down into the stadium. This is a nice stadium. This is a super sweet. I like it. I haven't been to Philly, but that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Giant Jumbotron. Wow. So we're sitting in section 122, row one, which is behind the dugout, but we also have club access and we're able to go in the club. And here we are again, walking down into another MLB park to check out the seats. Adam's locating our seats right now, right over there. Check this out, right behind the raised dugout. There's Randy there, Randy Rosarena. Oh wow, getting interviewed. Yeah, he's right there. There's Bethancourt. There's Brandon. Oh my gosh. There's Linares, he's former, uh, he was third base coach last year. Now he's usually behind Cash in the dugout. It's been a while since I've been this close to the race. Dude, look who's throwing batting practice. It's freaking Cash. Cash is throwing batting practice? Kevin's actually throwing Oh yeah, he practice. is, look at that. That's cool. Former Rays player, now coach. And also, he played high school baseball in Tampa. Harold Ramirez is over there signing autographs. Look at that. Yeah, just to show you what's going on here, the Rays out there in the outfield, also taking batting practice. We got, we got Eflin right here, pitcher. Just saw Randy taking batting practice. Kevin Cash throwing right there. Now yeah, it looks like Brandon Lau. It's hitting right now. Wow. Brandon Lau taking batting practice from Cash. Oh man, this is so surreal. Cash pitching to Randy Rosarena now. El Jefe. Okay, so we're gonna do a lap around the stadium. Check it out. Heading out to right. Looks like we're having some interaction down here. Look at this. Throw it up to the Mets fans. Yeah. Oh, I see some race fans. There's a Boggs jersey right there. Also, they have the new Big Apple out there in center. Okay, I have to point this out. Just like back home at Tropicana Field, they have Mr. Softy here at City Stadium. That's awesome, Mr. Softy. I love you, Mr. Softy. This is cool. This looks like a, like a back alleyway in the center. They even got stickers. Wow. So it's cool how they did that. It's very vintage. Look at the old TV in there, the bobblehead, the Coke. Opening day 2023 hat. I like that they did this. Oh, also Goya. A lot of Goya stuff. Oh, and here's the other side, the Amazing Deli. Amazing Mets. It's got the 2023 uh, season poster. Very vintage. Oh, it's got a boom box in there. <laughs> Biz Markey, just a friend. Also the Clash. Mr. Bungle. Yeah, this is cool. I like how they did this. Hey, I like pop culture and I like my retro stuff. They even got some Goya stuff. I'm guessing Goya is around here somewhere. And we got Mike Piazza up there, look at that. 
right here in the outfield. I like that there's like shade everywhere you walk so far. We're out near what they call the party deck. Out in the left center. This is so cool. And a little closer to the newest Big Apple, we have a big orange on the wall of the chop. And look at this out here. Oh, they got a Shake Shack. I like Shake Shack. Nice big light. Almost looks like a carnival attraction. I feel like I'm at the fair. I like the skyline. Shake Shack, frozen custard, fries, burgers, beer, hot dog, shake, soda, burgers, frozen custards, hot dog, fries. I read that all too fast. And we're behind the Jumbotron, the other side facing the field. It's a two-way Jumbotron. Look at that. Look at that, the Jumbotron, center field. Cool, because you can come out here and get food, take a break, and just look up and watch the game, the game right behind there. What a huge Jumbotron. Also, look at this. We've got mascots. Matt is checking out the mascots. Well, hello, both of you. Nice to be in Queens. Good luck tonight. Yeah, let me let me get us let me get a selfie with you all. Good luck, you two. You guys are adorable. I like the Mets mascots. No DJ Kitty though. No DJ Kitty. <laughs> Shout out to Chris the girl. I got it, babe. Patsy's Pizzeria. We actually ate at the Patsy's Pizzeria. Didn't film it the other night in Manhattan, and it was good. I did, had no idea they were that popular. They got one right here in City Field. I'm noticing a lot of team stores out here in City Field. There's a dugout store right there. Tons of places to buy Mets merchandise. Oh wow, about to walk over the Shea Stadium Bridge. That's cool that they did that. I think this used to sit, the steel used to sit in Old Shea Stadium. Oh yeah, look at this. Shea Stadium, 1964 to 2008, just as you're walking through the bridge. That's neato. And on the bridge, look at that, Shea Stadium. There's a picture of it, and it talks about William A. Shea, a prominent New York attorney, was the driving force in the effort to bring National League Baseball back to the city after the Brooklyn Dodgers and New York Giants left for California in 1957. Shea Stadium, home of the Mets from 64 to 2008 was named in his honor. Shea was inducted into the Mets Hall of Fame in 1983 and the name Shea is honored alongside the Mets retired numbers on the outfield wall. And walking down to the club level, which is kind of away from our seats a little bit, we gotta come here like mid-level next to 121 and just show our tickets to go into the club level should be food we're going to shout out just an hour and a half away from first pitch and we have gained access to the club it's in this alleyway look at that home plate right behind me and it's like a full functioning restaurant in here it might actually be like a sit down thing i'm not so sure a lot of folks eating in here so this is like a giant lounge. We were expecting more like a buffet. We did this in Chicago and it was buffet style. This is like a sit down slash bar. Super nice though. And they also have a little coffee shop over here. A full fledged coffee shop. All right, I'm going with Patsy's Pizza. Nice slice of cheese, thank you. Not only did I go with the cheese pizza, I went with a basket of fries and a sweet tea. Adam got a nice salad over there. They sell salad, nice little healthy option. Try Maybe it. I'll do that next time. Try it. And of course, it's actually pretty good pizza. Made with that real New York water, you know what I'm saying. And that was a great experience. Nice relaxing snack before game time. We got about 45 minutes until first pitch here at City Field. We'll say, it being a Tuesday night, doesn't look like there's too many people out here. We still have 45 minutes though. Look at this. This is a beautiful ballpark. And we still have 40 minutes till game time. Grounds crew, shout out to them, getting the brick, getting the brick dust done. I think we're gonna walk around a little more. We still got 40 minutes, right, Adam? Let's walk around. All right. Look at that. People coming in now. And I'm gonna say, I haven't been to every seat in the house, but it looks like there's not a bad seat in the house. I like the way the stadium's shaped. It's got these like long slopes. Not comparing, just a little bit. Kind of, kind of reminds me of the older stadiums like Wrigley or Fenway, because you have these like long slopes before the field. I like it. Check out this view. Walked over here to check out the bullpen, see if we can see some pitching practice. 
over this way. Actually, it's right down over there. I don't see any rays over here, but there are some Mets in the bullpen. Tampa Bay Rays, that looks cool there. He's made 20 career regular season starts against them in two in the playoffs. He has a 3.19 ERA lifetime against Tampa. It's really cool to see this going down right here. And look at this coming in now. Less than 30 minutes to game time. It is a weeknight. Maybe everyone was at work. They got off, they came over, and now they're pouring in. Section 122, row one, seat 11. This is where I'm sitting. And here's the view from the seats. I'm liking it. Loving it. <laughs> Almost game time. And this box with the passing of Dave Wills, the longtime radio voice of the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mets. Please join us for a moment of silence as we honor his memory. Thank you. Yeah, play ball. Good job, Lockhart Elementary. I think that's my new favorite national anthem. Play ball. Kristen Harper and some other ladies doing the first pitch. Looks like the Mets are coming out with smoke. All right, Harold Ramirez leading off first pitch. Yeah. First pitch. Popped it up. Way out there. Got it. Already one out. Let's go, El Patron! I've never seen Wonder Franco so big. That is a jumbo jumbotron. Brandon Lau started off very hot this year. Now he's about in 189. Come on, Brandon. The ball high. Verlander, the pitcher for the Mets. And like we like chanting his name right behind the bench. And he's pitch clock. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Strike. Jalen Beeks pitching first for the Rays. Oh, stepping off. Time on the ump. I don't know what's going on. He yelled down to the first base side. I don't know. Game on. Pete Alonso has 13 home runs already this season. Uh oh, he just broke the bat. That's inning. Let's go, Harold! Harold! What's up, man? Yeah. Randy! Randy Rose is show there. J Lo up to bat. And the stands are starting to fill up, although the top upper deck. Not so cool. All right, Hammer and Harold up right here. Here comes the first pitch. Strike. So during gameplay, they actually lower the apple out there. It's a distraction. They bring it out for special occasions. Check it out. Bases, one on one, one on two. One on one pitch count. Let's go, Brandon Lau. You are due, buddy. You are due. Full count. Oh, no. Struck out. All right, Isak Correa is up at bat with two strikes. Josh Lowe on deck. Notice how he's trying to time 
the pitcher. Oh, speaking of time. Pretty much makes per year what the entire Rays staff yeah. team makes. One of the highest pitchers, <laughs> highest paid pitchers in the league. <laughs> It's a home run. They're saying home run. Yeah. Home run. There it it's is. a home run. Woo! All right. We got some booze out. We got a home run, baby. Yeah, it comes with the territory. That's Siri over here. Yeah, home run race. Siri. What's up, buddy? Love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's talking to the crowd. That was like the most casual home run ever. It was, yeah, I thought it was a double. It was awesome. And the score is 3 nothing Rays. Right here in the third. As you can see, the lights are on. The sun is going down. It's a beautiful night for a ball game here in Queens, New York. In court. Woo! Got a double. Got a double. That was kind of close. Harold Ramirez. Yeah, break it. And we got a run right there. RBI. 4 0. Counts 3 2. Verlander pitching to Lau. Oh, get out there. Yeah. All right. Good job, Brandon. Nice little double. That was a good throw. Yeah. Please keep your distance from the protective netting. Flying objects may leave the playing field. Okay. I'll be careful. Home run and bounced off the foul pole. All right, Isak Paredes. Here we go. Randy! So Isak bounced it off the left field foul pole. Oh, Randy. No, it was Isak Paredes. Yeah. I thought Randy hit it. It was Isak. Isak, yeah. two home runs for Isak. Good job. Woo! 6 0. Race. Race up, race up. You saw Craze with two home runs yeah, tonight. That was crazy. Hit the pole. Like right beside Deja Wu. Deja Wu. I like that. There's a glitch on YouTube. 6 to nothing off Verlander. Verlander's supposed Maybe to be one of the best pitches getting paid too much. Maybe so. Maybe so. You should give some of that money to the Rays. For me. There you go, six nothing Rays. Right here at City Park in the fifth. It's a good feeling. Run that out. Oh yeah, change of innings. Oh, we're getting booed. All right, we popped out in the fifth. I think I'm gonna get a grilled sausage or a hot dog. Mets got a run. And I was gonna get the sausage, but they said there was a 20 minute wait, so I'm just gonna get some popcorn. And look at that, souvenir tub of popcorn. Mets. I always said if I did grow up in New York, if I was a New Yorker and I love baseball, I'd be a Mets fan, not a Yankees fan. No offense to you Yankees fan though. All right, look at this ballpark at night. Look at this. Looking good, it's packed too. They're booing us because we got Mets popcorn? What? And we're up to bat here in the sixth. I did hear while I was outside, I heard a commentator say that we have a $73 million budget a year and the Mets have a 330. So keep that in mind. The score is six to two right now. And we have the best record in, in baseball. I think I like this popcorn better than the Yankees popcorn. And I've tried them both. 
Said a home run earlier, but we were out getting popcorn. That was Pete Alonzo. Ready. Ready. The stadium really died. Look how many people have gone home behind the mound, behind home plate, just in this section. All right, Mets have one last chance to come back. There's Gabe, there's Gabe. Third out, Rays win. Woo! Woo! Oh, missed it. And there we are, another victory here in New York. Got to watch the Rays win at the Yankees Stadium and now City Field. All right, good night. Queens. Good night, City Field. It's a fun ballpark. Had a great time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just start making our way out. All right, they're telling us to get out of here. Check it out. So many people have already left. Stadium's cleared out. Good night, City Field. And I will say, I saw more Rays fans today than I did at Yankee Stadium on Sunday. Some Franco jerseys right here. Rosarena. Raise up! Woo! And we're taking the stairs down. They shut down the escalators. As I was coming out of the stadium, someone yelled. I don't know who it was. Shout out to you. They said, Jay, you better wash that jersey. I say no. The word's getting out that this jersey is getting stinky. Haven't washed it. And whoever that was, shout out to you. Sorry, couldn't say hi. We were kind of rushing out. Hey, oh, Let's look go at that! man that's awesome all right we came back out to the parking lot to the former Shea Stadium because we forgot that the Beatles hey man that the Beatles played Shea Stadium back in the day next to the spot where the new city field is it's amazing think of the Beatles right here so second base would have been the stage in fact the crowd was so loud you couldn't even really hear what they were singing oh wow just the cheers and screams we're just so loud. Seen a lot of Beatles histories this year. Shared their uh, time in Miami. I did a whole video on the Beatles visit in Miami where they stayed, where they met with Cassius Clay, AKA Muhammad Ali, and then this weekend, 
I got to be a part of the John Lennon video. Adam chasing down the Beatles via John Lennon in New York. City Field, great ballpark. I absolutely loved it. Look at that. And as far as baseball in New York City for this trip, that game, that W, will conclude this trip for baseball. Two wins in New York. I am satisfied. I want to shout out Adam the Woo for making this trip possible, for securing the tickets. Thank you, buddy. Had a great time with you. We still got to get back to the hotel and get some shut eye. What a game. Well, hopefully, the subways keep running all night. And we took the train in. I think we might Uber out. We'll see. It's about, ooh, it's 10.20. That was a three hour game. These games are going a lot quicker with a new pitch clock. That's the reason. And I have called the Uber. They're confirming our ride. It's about a $62 ride. Ooh, a lot of people trying to get out of here, waiting for these taxis to clear so we can cross the street. Wait for our Uber. Right underneath the train tracks. In Queens. We got green taxis in Queens. Alrighty. I'm vlogging here. 650 feet away. 500. Here he comes. It's not Tiger Woods. It's Tigers. Wood. About to cross back over the East River. And our Uber dropped us off for one last slice for myself here in New York City. Got some pizza. All right. And we end the video with another night shot of Midtown. All the way to the left, the Empire State Building. It was purple when we were coming in from Queens. Now it's gold. Look at that. Man, I'm gonna miss this view. And I'm gonna miss this town. I had a good time here this weekend. And the raise one twice. All right. If it was your first time here, subscribe below and come on back. And thank you. Give the video a thumbs up. And I appreciate you all watching. Appreciate you guys. All right. Know you're awesome. Know your love. No matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. That's it. See you next time. I got more New York City videos coming out. Maybe one more. Go Rays.